We tried to do it a few weeks ago, but we didn't get there. We only went two days in a row above 90. Now, we are going to be a month behind schedule for this. Typically, our first heat wave begins on June 28th, but we don't have to go all that far back to see such a late start to our heat waves. In 2015, we did it later than what we will see this year. And in 2014, we didn't even have one heat wave at Atlantic City or National Airport. Now, it will be muggy as well. Dew points are going to climb back into the 70s here. That's very muggy to me. And that means not only are we going to have the high temperatures, but we're going to have a heat index that should get above 100 degrees at times as well. Now, we take a look at our upper level pattern. This really explains why we're going to have our heat wave. So you see this area of high pressure in the desert southwest. You might have seen Phoenix has been in the 110s. Overnight lows have been in the 90s. It has been excruciatingly hot there, even for them. Very persistent heat. What's going to happen is a ridge of high pressure in the Atlantic Ocean will actually slide a little bit closer to us here and will slowly strengthen as we go into Friday and even Saturday. But here's the thing. This is still relatively zonal flow. See how those white lines move from west to east? Those are lines of equal, we'll say, height in the atmosphere. Well, what's happening is even with a zonal flow, we're going to be really on the hotter side here. If we had that ridge in the southwest overhead of us, we'd probably be talking about some days inland that got over 100 degrees without including the heat index. So, yeah, it's going to be hot, but it definitely could be worse depending on how our weather would have set up.